Uh, this video is just an overview of the um, summary screen or the dashboard. So basically you've got inputs, outputs, alarms, config, and you can read the rest. Um, but inputs are things to do in regards to sensors. So it's a touch screen. So if I was to push that, I would go in and I would see any sensors, flow switches, or digital inputs that are attached to the controller, hence an input. And if I wanted to access any of the things in regards to, in this case for this sensor, which is a conductivity sensor, I could press on that and now I'd go into those details and I could play around with it um, in order to change it, do set points and all the rest. Um, to go back to the menu or that dashboard, you just hit the three lines and we're back there. So that's inputs. Um, one other thing about inputs, just like with all the screens, there's this button. So you can scroll up and down to find the input that you want to change the value for. Um, outputs, those are basically anything that you're controlling. So for example, uh, in this case, it would be a pump um, or could be a valve or it could be another pump. Um, it's anything that you're attached primarily to the relays, so hence R1, R2, R3. And likewise before, if I want to go into this R1 and have a look at the settings, I just touch it, it tells me the settings, and then I can go into this spanner crescent thing here to change things. We'll talk about that one at a later stage, so that's how I get back to the um, dashboard. Alarms is pretty obvious, it just lets you know what alarms are and what, what is an alarm. And in this case, there's no flow because this isn't connected to water, so there's a flow switch alarm. Uh, at config, that's where in a nutshell you look at um, things to do with uh, the date, the time, um, Celsius or Fahrenheit, those kind of, glo and it's in global settings. Uh, I'll go into detail on each one of these on another video. Securities um, and is primarily to do with things in regards to the inter internet, because this has got an internet connection facility if you want to add that feature. Display settings, this is a good one to know just in regards to what you want to split. So this conductivity flow switch bleed, if I go back to the main setting on the home screen, that's what that is, so that's the displays. But I'll go into all those details later. Um, and of course, if you ever want to know um, how to uh, import, export a file, then that would be um, in that particular place there. But again, there'll be another video on that. HOA is hand, off, or automatic. And that basically means it's a quick key to get to your relay. So I could turn that relay if I wanted to manually turn it on, I don't know if you can see the light over here, but now it's on, off, and auto means run automatically, and in other words, via whatever set points you've got in here. And you can do that with each one of these, and as you can see, relays one through to five, there you go, just done it now, are on, all on, auto. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard, and graphs is a cool feature um, of just seeing, hey, what's happened at the moment with this particular controller and this, this sensor. So if I had two sensors, then you'd see two, you could see two graphs. And then you could obviously change the, the, the distance of one hour, one week, one day, whatever. So that is an overview of the dashboard and how I get back to the main display would be pressing the home button and there you go.